The Paris Agreement was adopted by 195 countries at the 21st Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP21, held in Paris, France in 2015. The countries agreed to hold the increase in the global average temperature to well below 2 degrees above pre-industrial levels and pursue efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees. One of the unique features of the Paris Agreement is that it requires all participating countries to make efforts to reduce their emissions. Each country submits their own reduction targets every five years in 2020, 2025, and 2030. Collective progress towards these targets is also reviewed every five years. Reporting and updating national targets every five years encourages countries to actively participate in the Paris Agreement. One of the effective means for countries to achieve their reduction targets is to utilize international market mechanisms. The use of markets is expected to bring many benefits, such as technology transfer, sustainable development, and environmental and socioeconomic co-benefits through international cooperation. The use of carbon markets is mentioned in Article 6 of the Paris Agreement. There are two types of market mechanisms, the cooperative approach as set out in Article 6.2 and the sustainable development mechanism in Article 6.4. The Sustainable Development Mechanism is a carbon market mechanism led by the United Nations. On the other hand, the cooperative approach is a country-driven market mechanism. The mechanism can transfer and acquire emission reductions and removals achieved outside of the country as credits. The earned credits are used to help meet that country's reduction targets. The JCM is an innovative scheme operated under Article 6.2 of the Paris Agreement. The JCM was launched in 2013, and by 2021, there were 17 partner countries. Article 6 requires participating countries to do three things. First, promote sustainable development. Second, ensure environmental integrity. Third, ensure transparency. Let's have a look at them together with actions on the JCM. The first is to promote sustainable development. In particular, we need to take action to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, adopted in 2015. The SDGs depict a universal blueprint for sustainable society, consisting of 17 goals and 169 targets. To achieve the goals, all stakeholders, including countries, local governments, civil society, and the private sector, are expected to work together to implement and accelerate their initiatives as one team. The JCM contributes to the achievement of SDGs in a variety of ways, such as promoting clean energy, implementing measures to address climate change, improving air pollution, building sustainable food production systems, conducting technical training, and developing infrastructure. The second point is to ensure environmental integrity. This means ensuring that global greenhouse gas emissions do not increase. Let's assume the emissions that would occur if the project was not implemented. These are known as baseline emissions. If we take the actual amount of emissions for a project and subtract this amount, we can calculate the reduction in emissions. To avoid overestimation, the baseline needs to be set appropriately. The JCM uses an even lower baseline for emissions. These are called reference emissions, and this conservative setting ensures environmental integrity. The third point is to ensure transparency. Ensuring transparency is necessary to keep the governance transparent and provide reliable information. The JCM publishes guidelines and methodologies on our website. 
We also conduct public comments and stakeholder consultations to promote project development, making sure we take the local community into account. A market mechanism is something that depicts sustainable futures across nations and regions through the use of credits. The JCM is working to strengthen our global partnership and contribute to achieving the goals of the Paris Agreement.